Welcome to Economics Explorer 101, the channel that delves deep into the world of economics. Today, we're going to explore one of the most talked about economic systems, socialism. What is socialism? How does it work? What are its advantages and disadvantages? We'll answer all these questions and more in this video. So let's begin. What is socialism? Socialism is an economic system where the means of production, distribution, and exchange of goods and services are owned and controlled by the state or the community as a whole. The goal of socialism is to eliminate inequality and create a society where everyone has equal access to resources and opportunities. How does socialism work? In a socialist system, the government or the community owns and controls the means of production, such as factories, farms, and other businesses. The profits from these businesses are shared among the workers and the community, rather than being concentrated in the hands of a few owners or shareholders. The government or the community also sets the prices of goods and services to ensure that everyone has access to them regardless of their income. Socialism also aims to eliminate poverty and provide everyone with basic needs such as health care, education, and housing. Advantages of Socialism One of the biggest advantages of socialism is that it eliminates inequality and provides everyone with equal access to resources and opportunities. It also eliminates poverty and ensures that everyone has access to basic needs such as health care, education, and housing. Socialism also promotes social cohesion and a sense of community. In a socialist system, everyone works for the common good rather than pursuing their individual interests. This creates a sense of solidarity and cooperation that is often lacking in capitalist society. Disadvantages of Socialism One of the biggest disadvantages of socialism is that it can lead to inefficiency and lack of innovation. Without the profit motive, there is little incentive to improve efficiency or create new products and services. This can lead to a stagnant economy and a lack of technological progress. Another disadvantage of socialism is that it can lead to government control and authoritarianism. In some socialist systems, the government controls all aspects of the economy and society, leading to a lack of freedom and individual rights. Examples of Socialism There have been many examples of socialism throughout history, with varying degrees of success. Some of the most well-known examples include the Soviet Union, Cuba, and Venezuela. However, there have also been successful socialist systems, such as the Nordic countries, which have high levels of social welfare and economic prosperity. Conclusion In conclusion, socialism is an economic system where the means of production, distribution, and exchange of goods and services are owned and controlled by the state or the community as a whole. It aims to eliminate inequality and provide everyone with equal access to resources and opportunities. While socialism has its advantages, such as eliminating poverty and promoting social cohesion, it also has its disadvantages, such as inefficiency and lack of innovation. Ultimately, the success of socialism depends on how it is implemented and managed. It. 